hi guys welcome back to my channel i am kenny and um today i want to talk discuss about um bitcoin tax havens and um i want to preference this with i am not a financial advisor i'm not a tax attorney i'm not a <laughs> tax expert you know all of the disclaimers do your own research um but i wanted to give you the story about how i first got into cryptocurrency so i learned about bitcoin in november 2013 um at a bank that i used to work at they used to do like a daily newsletter to all employees about every you know macroeconomics everything that's going on in the world in the financial markets like a daily briefing um somewhere you could click into the different articles and learn more about it and that's why i started learning about bitcoin and i was so fascinated by it um I was working for a major bank here in the US and um, I was so fascinated about it. I love tech, I love startups and this types of stuff always excite me. Um, so much to the point that there was this, this guy I was seeing, um, uh, I told him about Bitcoin and um, he thought it sounded fascinating. Like I evangelized about Bitcoin and got him excited about it. And then he asked, well, how can I get some? I told him, well, I can create a Coinbase account for you. So I went and I created a Coinbase account for him. So I learned about it in November 2013. This was February 2014 that I decided to open a Coinbase account for him. And back then, you did not um, need KYC to do an account on Coinbase. I set up this account for him. I didn't even need a license, nothing. And it's just so funny that I did this and I didn't set up an account for myself, but I set up an account for this guy. Um, so hilarious, right? Um, fast forward a year later, I still hadn't set up an account. This guy that I screwed back in 2013, 14 had a Coinbase account. It's probably making money. Um, I was talking to some coworkers at work. I moved to New York. Um, by this time, I was already in New York. And um, we were discussing it. And I think Bitcoin had dropped to 200. And then it was around 400 when I was discussing it with some coworkers. We were nerding out about it. I found some coworkers that were into Bitcoin. It was like two, three of us. Um, and I said, no, 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 I'm going to wait till it goes back to $200. Because there, there was a dip the other day. And this is when it was around $400. Guess what? It never went back to $200. Fast forward, it's like November 2017. I'm like, holy crap, I should have bought. You know why it was so ridiculous? Because from the first time I learned about Bitcoin in 2013, November, December, that fall period, there were articles that I was reading when I was researching about it after learning about it through the bank that they said one day Bitcoin will be $10,000, one day Bitcoin will be a million dollars. And in my head, I thought it was something in the far distance. So like I believed it from reading these research, but I thought I had time. So when I look at the times where it was like $200, $400, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm waiting, ridiculous. Fast forward, November 2017, I have a coworker. He's making so much money. He's thinking about buying a, a house on the beach, probably the um, Jersey Shore, because we're here in New York. And he was making so much money on Bitcoin. And I was like, crap. I went home. I went on to Coinbase. And for some reason, now we had KYC. My license was not working. It was not uploading for some reason. I was taking a picture with my phone. It just was not working. And then um, I tried two to three times between November 2017 and December 2017. And then the market crashed um, in January. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe it was a sign. Maybe I wasn't supposed to get on to Bitcoin at that time. So I just left it at that. I, I see it come all the way down. And at one point it came down to 4,000. I can't remember if that was 2018 or 2019. I thought like, okay. No, I think it was 2018. I thought like, um, maybe now is the time to get in because it crashed all the way to 4,000. Because it's going to go back up to 20,000. Like... I have no doubt that that will happen again um because this thing you know i read it was going to be ten thousand i read it was going to be a million so four thousand seems like a good price but i still did not buy at that time um it wasn't until the end of 2019 i decided to buy so that's my journey <laughs> on how long it took me to get into crypto to actually buy from me learning about it at the bank me setting up an account for someone random guy not random um and you know talking about it with coworkers over the years seeing a coworker make money and still sitting on the sideline but it was, it was really coinbase that messed me up in the fall of 2017 but you know the price crashed and i oh it was fate you know, I had to wait for the price crash to buy in. But anyway, I didn't get in until December 2019. So it wasn't until December 2020 when the thing is skyrocketing now because I got in the prior year and I'm thinking about taxes. And I'm wondering, like, 
you know, I see this channel sometimes on, on um, YouTube, No Man Capitalist, go where you're treated best or whatnot. And so I started to think to myself, huh, I wonder people who make money in crypto, where do they go? You know, because the US has all these crazy tax laws. So I started doing research and I found various countries that have varying degrees of laws. Like some of them, um, now they don't tax, but in 2020, 2023, they're going to reassess or they tax businesses, but they don't tax individuals. They, own, they don't tax capital gains, but they tax you if you use it as currency. So do your own research. I'm not a tax expert, but these are the countries that I found when I looked it up. It was Portugal. Singapore, Germany, Hong Kong, Switzerland. I feel like Switzerland is like a duh. Like they do everything for capital preservation there. Um, Malaysia and Malta. And then for us in the US, like maybe you don't want to give up your citizenship and run and go rogue. Uh, <laughs> there is a US territory um, that is crypto friendly. Um, you just, just do your research. Um, look into Puerto Rico. Um, there's a lot of articles out there and um, I'm sure a tax expert could help you with that. But it looks like um, if you want to remain a US citizen, um, it seems like Puerto Rico is a thing to do. And also I wrote an article about this in Medium. If you want to um, give me support on December 9th, I wrote it on my Medium article about um, the little story that I just gave today and um, the countries do your own research where you can find um, favorable policies on taxes on cryptocurrency. But do your own research. I'm not a tax expert. This is just what I found online and you just, you know, expound on that and take it further from there. All right. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Um, bye.